Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a Tuesday morning, and I just got out of the gym. So I received a very, very good news uh, from uh, our buyer in the morning after my session in the gym. So uh, we recently uh, purchased a property at this uh, Sumang area, which is at uh, Block 226C. <coughs> so uh, technically, uh, right over here, we in fact purchased at the highest transacted price of uh, 773000 okay? So uh, meaning to say uh, we were actually expecting uh, some form of a uh, cash over valuation uh, because uh, after we do some uh, past transaction data check, in fact the property prices over there like the most recent one in February it was uh, transacted um, at 695,000 uh, that is uh, located uh, between the uh, 7 to 9th floor so uh, again uh, in uh, Jan itself January itself uh, on the 6th floor at block 227B it was transacted at only 681,000 so of course, uh, from our data itself, we are able to see uh, whether there's any uh, cash flow valuation. So uh, just an example, in December itself, for Block 227B, located on the 11th floor, it was actually sold at 745000 with a cash flow valuation of 15000 So the true value uh, itself uh, for the valuation will be at 730000 Okay, so we backtrack all the way to November 2022, located on the 10th floor at Block 226C. It was transacted at 750000 with a cash over valuation of 40000 meaning to say the actual value is only at $710,000 only. Okay, so of course, uh, we will always take the nearest uh, transaction uh, that was actually being presented which is the 730,000 uh, valuation price so to put it at a very very conservative uh, usually for me I will increase it by a slight percentage of about 3% but again uh, because uh, our client loves the unit so much so uh, we make a bold decision to actually do the incremental of about 5% okay so if we actually do an incremental of 5% uh, from the valuation of about 730, that will actually equate to 766,000. Okay, so we already pre am our client uh, to be prepared uh, to uh, actually uh, pay some form of a uh, cash over valuation between the range of about 10 to 20,000. Okay. So again, uh, today morning, uh, they are so happy that the valuation actually came out to be at the purchase price of 773000 So my question over here is, uh, over the course of these uh, few months, okay, because in fact January and February, you do have a transaction of uh, 681000 and 695000 okay? So how do you actually determine that? How can HDB actually match the sales price of 773000 That will also mean that the incremental from back then in uh, December up till now is actually more than a 5% increase. So that is something uh, for, for me uh, and for probably a real estate agents uh, to actually ponder because uh, it actually makes our job more difficult to advise client the correct prices to meet an offer. Of course, uh, when it comes to uh, serving a buyer today, we are hoping that to actually help them to able to achieve a property without any cash flow valuation. But of course, in right now in the market, there are still a lot of sellers who are hoping to achieve the highest possible price. And and uh, once you actually want the higher possible price, meaning to say there will be also some form of cash flow valuation. So this is something that I'm, I, I will be actually thinking and then uh, of course uh, ultimately happy client at the end of the day which is the most important one, okay? So uh, that's it for now, we have more case studying along the way. So uh, have a great uh, Tuesday and I, I will catch you guys soon.